Good morning, everybody. We are so excited this morning. Yet again, it's another Sunday service where we can sit in the presence of God, enjoy His Word, eat from His Word, and also drink from Holy Spirit's presence. I want to invite you this morning, before we worship here this morning or started this recording, we had our own pre-worship. And Holy Spirit was so warm and inviting. And I'm reminded that Holy Spirit wants to pour Himself out on us. So this morning, I just want to invite you into His presence. Just there where you are. Just become quiet and still and place your focus on the King of Kings. And know that He is King. Just become quiet. Still in your inner being and say, Lord, I am here for you. Holy Spirit, come and pour yourself out of me. And experience how Holy Spirit moves and step in where you are right now. Let's pray. Father God, we worship you. We glorify you. We honor you. You are the King of Kings. Lord, this morning we are here to worship you. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. you. Lord, and right at this moment, I pray for each and everyone listening to this, watching this. I ask Holy Spirit, touch them. Holy Spirit, pour yourself out upon them. Let them experience you, Lord. Let them enter into your presence. Let them know that you are here with them, around them, Lord. And thank you, Lord, that we can know that you will move, Lord, wherever there is breakthrough needed, that you will come, you will move, you will make a way in the sea, you will part the sea, Lord. We trust you, therefore, Lord, and I pray, Lord, each one listening and watching, help them, Lord, to forget about everything. Just focus on you. Thank you if you can trust you, therefore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
to me about the same. Then they start to become quiet, start to become still, start to become that place where you, where you quiet your mind, where you quiet your heart, where you quiet your thoughts, your emotions even, so that you can come to know me, who I am in that situation, who I, what I want you to feel in that situation. So something that God linked with me is that we still uh, know that I am God. And in Exodus, God says, I am what I am and what I will be. So first of all, when I become quiet, I become aware of what I am is. So let's say, for instance, I have a trouble situation. Financial. There's somebody listening who wants a financial breakthrough. God is busy speaking to you. Become quiet in that situation. Go and become quiet before God so that you can realize who the what I am is in that situation. The what I am is your provider. I am your provider. But what does God want you to be in that situation? So often we want fear, we want doubt. But God says, I am what I am. So in that moment of stillness, what I am is what you need. I am your faith. I am your joy. I'm what you need. Help, Holy Spirit, I pray, open this up. I want to go again at this. Say, if, if for instance, you struggle with irritation or fighting, what does the Word of God say? Go become quiet and ask God who He is in that situation, what He wants you to be in that situation. Where he wants you to go, become quiet. Here's something that really felt worked for me. When I become irritated, or when I struggle to not want to fight back, I become quiet and I start to pray in tongues. Because when I start to pray in tongues, I start to know who my God is. I am your peace. And then I thought, God, okay, Lord, what do you want to be in my situation? I want to be the calm storm, the calming waters. I want to be the positive words. I want to be the love. I want to be your compassion. And then suddenly when I become aware of what God wants to be in my situation, I can easily step into that. Here's the thing, so often we separate ourselves from Christ. We say, Jesus is our love. And He is. But we forget that Jesus is inside of us. He's part of us. And the moment we accepted Jesus as our Savior, we can't separate that. So the moment I become quiet and I become aware of who God wants to be, that becomes me. That becomes who I am. Suddenly I feel His love. Suddenly I feel compassion towards that situation. Suddenly I feel faith. I want to encourage you when God says in Psalm 46, Go, become quiet, and know that I am God. He's taking you into that place of stillness so that your mind, your emotions, your thoughts can become still and can align with who God is, can align into His will. So often we allow our emotions to run loose. I have a reason to feel irritated. I have a reason to be angry. I have a reason to feel frustrated. However, God tells us not to be quarrelsome in His Word. God says, where you go, let there be love, let there be compassion, let there be gentleness, let there be kindness. 
And the only way to step into that is to become quiet and to become aware of the what I am in the situation. What is God? Who is God? And what will God be? And the moment you become quiet and you are like, okay, Lord, you are my provider. Therefore, Jesus and the Holy Spirit inside of me have faith. So you are what I need, therefore I can have faith. But Lord, what will you will be? What will you be? You will be the one that brings breakthrough. You will be the one that will release me into my situation. You will be the one who cover me, who protects me, who surrounds me. So, just this morning, I feel, just for a moment, let's move into that place of quietness. And say, Lord, my emotions, my thoughts, everything around me, I quiet down to become aware of you. We forget so often that God is where we move. When we go to the shopping center, when we sit in the car, when we are at home with our family and friends, God is in our midst. And I want to encourage you in those times, just stop. Just stop a moment and say, when you are washing the dishes, Jesus, I become aware of you. When you are hanging up your clothes, Jesus, I'm becoming aware of you. So just there we are, sometimes, even in a Sunday service, in a church service, we miss Jesus. Because we don't become quiet enough. We don't still our hearts, we don't still our minds, we don't still our emotions. And God requires of us to still ourselves before Him. So just right at this point, Jesus wants to be each of us. He wants to touch us. Just become quiet. Jesus, we just become
is an immediate need for that breakthrough. Holy Spirit, thank you that as we are singing this song, you're bringing that breakthrough. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. There's somebody listening that's waiting for a call on their ministry. Holy Spirit, I just feel Holy Spirit say, stand up. Dry bones come alive in Jesus' name. But I hear to call you from that dead ministry, that dead ministry you're feeling dead. Stand up in Jesus' name. God is calling you to stand up in Jesus' name.
for that spirit of self that is continuous thoughts of self that are binding in Jesus' name. A Holy Spirit, bring a renew that mind. Renew that mindset to your will, Jesus. Let us see you. Let us see your love, Jesus. Let us see you. Thank mm-hmm. you. 